so we go, we go went ahead and chose like the country feel. So we have like I have sketches of country, the country guy who is one of the attendants at the carnival, and just playing around with a whole bunch of sketches like uh, the main character, you know, the guy who's luring you in, like welcome to the carnival and whatnot. And uh, usually after. After you get your character rough draft stuff, that's when I go ahead and I'll choose which characters I like and don't like, and then I'll bring it to senior editors or whatnot, and they'll make the final decision on who, who we actually want to put in the gameplay. And then uh, once we've chosen our characters, then it's time to get them inked and scanned. So. Okay. Uh, a lot of the images, once they're scanned in, they're really dirty. So, uh, because your scanner will pick up a whole bunch of the dirt and debris off of your sketch pad, pretty much. So what I'll do is I'll bring it into Illustrator and I'll clean up the lines. To reach as wide an audience as possible, you need to cater to the lowest hardware that you want your game to be available on, like the iPhone 3G running OpenGL ES 1.1, and you want it to work on up through the best hardware, um, an, an iPad running OpenGL ES 2.0 or better. Um, since you want to cater to the lower OpenGL, you need to optimize for that environment. So you're restricted to about 30 OpenGL draw calls and 10, 10 to 12,000 tries depending on how complicated the game logic is in that particular scene. So, you either need a flexible tool that will pull variable size images off of an OpenGL optimized atlas, or you need to optimize each of your individual images and sprites uh, for OpenGL ES 1.1, meaning the, the dimensions of all of your images will be powers of 2, uh, 16, 32, 64, etc. When bringing your game to the iPad or creating a new game for the iPad, you need to respect any orientation. And you can do this in two ways. Either every scene in your game will cater to the extra width or height that a new orientation demands. Uh, this is the easy way, really. Or the better way, the way Apple's designed the iPad for, is when the device is held in a tall orientation your game is full screen, and when the device iPad is held in a wide orientation, um, a menu slides on to accompany your game. And I suggest a menu of all your friends and what scores they've gotten on the current level.